Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to set up the environment required for ASP.NET development. We'll look at the various tools required for the development, how to get those tools and installing uh, the tools on your system. Okay, to some of the things I have put it uh, here in a document for you. For the development, we need ID, the integrated development environment. Uh, it is provided by Microsoft. The Visual Studio is the, is the ID which is used for ASP.NET development. There is a free version, uh, free version of the same thing available from Microsoft which is Visual Web Developer 2010 Express. You can download it free from Microsoft's website. I have also given the uh, link here which uh, you can visit and uh, download it. Uh, so if you open the link you will have this you have the installation button here just you can click and uh, install it okay it's quite simple procedure just few clicks and uh, you will be good to go through next comes the deployment part okay so uh, just let me explain you this visual studio or the visual web developer this comes with a what you say a, a reduced version of uh, of web server along with it so for the development purpose this ID uh, has all the required things uh, which uh, uh, which you would use any time but whenever you are uh, done with the development and then after that you want to deploy your website you want to make it live on internet or maybe say intranet then you need a web server uh, which which would be able to accept requests from uh, you know from from different ips or from different systems so for that purpose we need iis now you don't have to worry because uh, any system which you are having with say windows xp professional operating system or any above or anything above say vista or windows 7 uh, all those operating operating systems have this iis pre built in that only thing you need to do is you have to you have to enable it okay which is uh, which is quite easy to do uh, you have to just go to uh, your control panel and then uh, you need to go to programs in programs you have turn windows features on or off and then if you see here you have internet information services so initially if you have a fresh, fresh installation of uh, operating system you will not have these things enabled so you just have to come and you know check all these things IS internet information services internet information services hostable web core just check this completely and then press ok uh, it, it, it will take few minutes and then your IS would be ready ok uh, the same procedure is there with uh, with the windows XP also now one thing uh, we need to uh, know is with the windows XP and windows server 2003 it, uh, the version of IS 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 6 with Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008, with these operating systems, we get IS 7. Now, one thing uh, is important to understand here: when, whenever we are going, uh, you know, you have a fresh machine and you are going to do the installation, make sure that you enable your IIS first, and after that, you install your uh, Visual Visual Studio or Visual Web Developer, whatever it is, because whenever you are installing visual studio or visual web developer the dotnet framework gets installed automatically as a part of that installation it gets installed so it's it's better that if your ias is enabled first and then the dotnet framework gets installed on the machine the dotnet framework registers itself uh, very properly on the ias so you'll not have any problem in hosting websites which are using the dotnet framework you know, or the other websites which are developed using asp.net uh, in case you want to download the framework separately you can also down you can download that also from microsoft's website 
the link for that is given here the latest framework of dotnet is dotnet framework 4 the next comes the uh, after that you need the in case you want to use the database for development then you know you need a database uh, to get installed on your system so for the database part we have microsoft sql server the latest version is uh, sql server 2008 uh, you can download it from the microsoft website i understand i've written it as uh, microsoft sql server 2008 express because uh, express is free version which you can download and use it for the, for the development purposes if you open this you will get uh, microsoft sql server 2008 express download it from here understand that uh, whenever you are downloading things from the microsoft website you will see probably these different type of versions here you need to understand what it stands for x64 you should download this if you are having a machine which has a uh, 64-bit operating system in installed then you should be uh, choosing this part in case uh, you have a uh, you know like windows xp the 32-bit version operating systems then you should go for the x86 right so uh, you can download uh, sql server 2008 from there and then the next important thing is uh, a tool to interact with the database that is database management tool so uh, that is sql server management studio 2008 express edition that you also is available free of cost uh, this is a great tool to interact with the database because uh, you know you will have to do a lot of uh, things with um, interacting with database uh, running queries on the database taking backups you know sometimes restoring things we will see all that in the in the later part uh, so to do all that we need uh, we need this tool uh, which is microsoft sql server 2008 management studio express you can download it from here based on the operating system which you have on your machine if you have xp go for x86 if you have windows 7 or windows vista go for x64 okay now uh, here i would like to make free things clear a so few things clear to you sorry that uh, what what is the meaning of these express editions the, these express edition softwares are available to you free of cost so um, they are intended to be used for development systems so uh, you can directly download them from the you know from the microsoft website and use it free of cost uh, you don't have to pay anything for that uh, it these express edition uh, so softwares they have uh, mostly all the features which 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 you would be requiring uh, you know during the development process though there are always licensed versions available like say visual studio if you go and buy visual studio uh, 2010 you will have uh, you have uh, uh, different types of licenses like professional ultimate and, uh, or team system and these things so you'll have to pay some money for that uh, but for the development purposes uh, our express editions are great you don't have to uh, pay anything download it free of cost so set up the environment and then we'll go ahead with the development part. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.